Welcome to another Couple with the Queen podcast. This is Jerry Taylor Swade, and today I'm going to be talking about women and direct selling. As an international trainer, I get to travel a lot, and just recently I was in Australia and England, and it became very apparent to me more than ever that women all over the world are more the same than I realized, and I think a lot of people don't understand that. If you don't travel internationally, and if maybe you've only been in the country that you live or were born, you don't really understand it because you've never experienced it. And the more I travel, it's so interesting how it just really like hit me that women are more the same than we think. When you get through the facade that we all put up, when we actually take the time to talk to one another and get through the more than, you know, just the niceties of the day, how are you, what have you been up to lately, those kind of questions, sometimes you can get down into the layers. We all have layers of who we really are what drives us, what we're afraid of, and what we want or would hope that our life would be like. In the career path of direct sales, which is dominated by women, my eyes have been opened and I see more than ever some basic truths and I'm probably not going to say them all because this is off the cuff, but women want to be loved. They want to be appreciated and honored. They want to trust and be trusted. And they want to feel like they belong. It is getting more and more to be a lonely world out there, isn't it? I think that's why Facebook has grown to be what it is today and why we're called friends on Facebook. I mean, that was a brilliant marketing move, by the way. It's because the hustle and the bustle of this world and the way people live now, we are more isolated in than in historical days of the past, for sure. When I was in England, they have villages, little tiny villages and farms, and and I know that's that way other places in the world, but I was just in England, so it reminds me of that, and how small towns, people knew each other, they grew up together, they helped each other, they laughed together, and they cried together, and in England, it happens at a pub, by the way, most of the time, they came together in good times and tragedies, too, women historically got together to cook, They had sewing circles. They had knitting parties. You know, they gathered food in the fields and helped each other with their children. And each town and village or city had a community of women. Throughout history, women have been the backbone of the home. They are strong, resilient, and creative, and they still are today. Maybe even more so because of the privileges that we have. I'm not sure. In my experiences over the last 19 years of being in direct sales, and since I work mostly with women, it is more clear to me every day that one of the biggest reasons this business model of direct sales works and thrives like it does is because it gives a place of community among other things, but I'm talking about this specifically. A place of belonging where people can come together. I've only experienced of being in the field with one company. I've not been one of those that jumps from company to company. So I've been with one company for 19 years. And I know because I've been told by many, many others the same thing. But they are all looking for that. And since we're talking about women in particular, this business model gives women a place to thrive, to grow, to be loved and encouraged, and be empowered. 
to be and become the best of themselves that God created them to be. Are there times when this is not true? Yeah, absolutely. There are mean girls in direct sales, just like there's mean girls in the world. They're evil. I mean, that's the word I would describe them as. Self-serving. And it's been that way throughout history. It's not just now. But my experience that shows that most mean girls don't last very long in a direct sales company because the culture in general of direct sales doesn't allow it. Direct selling and network marketing, it's about networking. It's about people. It's And we're talking women right now, right? So it's a place for people to come together as a team to create something bigger than themselves. It's a place to be recognized for what you do, to be empowered and lifted up, and to realize that dreams can come true. We as women all have dreams. It's kind of sad that some women never are allowed to dream, so they don't even know what their dreams are. Sometimes it takes time for them to even get in touch with that. But I've seen in my time as a direct seller that the good news is that once they face their fears and once they start overcoming obstacles in their lives, whether it's real obstacles or perceived, they start seeing that there is a way. They start believing in what could actually be possible for them and their family Honestly, to me, this is the best part about being in this business model of direct selling. Is there money to be made? Yes. Will you acquire more time and freedom in your life? Yes. Will you be able to design the life that you want on your terms? Yes. Can you earn trips and cars and jewelry and prizes? Absolutely. But most of all, you can blossom into the most beautiful, confident woman that God created you to be. You will have a community around you that will hold you up, love you in your successes and your failures, because we all fail sometimes, a place where heart-to-heart conversations can really happen where you learn and you recognize your strengths and your weaknesses and where you have a team around you that can balance those out for the good of all. Being a direct seller is more than just selling a product or making money or recruiting. Selling and sponsoring, as I like to call it, are kind of the activities you do in this business to get the tangibles. It's the untangibles that are so powerful. And as women, we understand the untangibles, don't we? That's what we really want. Thank you for listening. I really appreciate the fact that you've listened to my podcast. And I look forward to talking to you again. Bye-bye for now.